Update Image 29 adds the PeopleSoft Fluid Simple Journal Entry feature. Now Fluid users can add a new journal, edit a journal, and post a journal. Fluid Journal Entry provides a pre-configured template that is designed for your specific purpose. Use the View Simple Journal page to view all the journals associated with a particular business unit. New journals can also be added on this page. The sections displayed in the left pane of the Simple Journal page depend on the journal template selected. Only those sections that are configured for the selected journal template are available for journal entry. Journal entry fields that appear for each section on the right pane are also configurable. You can select a required action, like editing and posting journals, from the drop-down list and click the Process button. You can also save a template after making changes. The Lines page displays all fields configured for journal line entry. The Totals grid displays the combined total lines, debits, and credits for the business unit. You can add, modify, and delete attachments for journal lines. Once the edit process is complete, the status is indicated for the journal ID, allowing Fluid users to edit the journal. Simple Journal Entry also supports Fluid approvals. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Simplified Journal Entry feature. PeopleSoft delivers Fluid approvals for asset management using the Enterprise Component Fluid Approvals Framework. The following new approvals have been added for PeopleSoft Asset Management. Asset Addition Reversal Asset Adjustment Reversal Asset Interunit Transfer Reversal and Asset Transfer Reversal the Asset Addition Reversal Approval Header Detail page enables you to view summary and line detail information for asset addition reversals, such as asset ID, reversal accounting date, reversal reason, and amount. You can also approve or deny the reversal from this page. Select a row in the Line Details grid to access the Approval Line Details page and view Item Summary and Line Details for the Reversal Line. Equivalent functionality exists for the Asset Adjustment Reversal Approval Header Detail page, the Asset Enter Unit Transfer Reversal Approval Header Detail page, and the Asset Transfer Reversal Approval Header Detail page. This completes our discussion of the Asset Management Fluid Approvals Enhancements. In Supplier Scorecarding, Key Performance Indicators, or KPIs, can be defined for objective questions and weighted scores. The KPI questions and scores are incorporated into templates and evaluations for a supplier. This allows reviewers to view and analyze objective and subjective scored questions within a completed Supplier Evaluation Scorecard. Select the Scorecard Administration tile to define KPI categories and define KPI definitions. KPI definitions are included in Supplier Evaluations by linking them to Evaluation Questions. Select the Evaluation Questions tile to create a KPI Evaluation Question. Select KPI as the question type. A KPI evaluation question must be assigned to an available KPI definition. When you create a KPI evaluation question, it can be included in an evaluation template. When managing evaluation responses and posting responses, if you have included a KPI question in an evaluation, the Apply KPIs Values link displays. KPI values for an evaluation can be applied, or in the case of manual KPIs, entered for each question during the Manage Evaluations process. After applying KPI values, select Manage and Post Results to view a summary of an evaluation containing a KPI question. Select the text of a KPI question to view the details behind the KPI score. If the evaluation is considered complete, it can be posted, making the results available to others. The posted evaluation results are visible using the Overall Score Trend tile and the Overall Score Rank tile on the Supplier Scorecard homepage. 
The subjective and KPI questions within an evaluation are displayed on the View Evaluation page. This completes our demonstration of the Supplier Scorecard Objective KPIs feature. In Update Image 29, PeopleSoft adds the Exception Comments and Risks page to Expense Report, Travel Authorization, Cash Advance, Time Report, and Time Adjustment Fluid Approvals. This enhancement allows approvers to view the risks and alerts identified by the system for different transactions before taking action on pending approval requests. If the system identifies only risks associated with the transaction, the View Risk Details page displays the details like the risk level, the risk description, and the criteria that triggered the risk. This completes our discussion of the Exception Comments and Risks page in Fluid Approvals Enhancement. In Update Image 29, PeopleSoft Expenses modified the Push Back button label to Send Back for Expense Report, Travel Authorization, Cash Advance, Time Report, and Time Adjustment Fluid Approval pages. The renaming makes the Fluid Approval page label consistent with the Classic Approval page label and avoids confusion with the Requisition Pushback action. In this example, on the Expense Report Pending Approvals page, an approver can select multiple rows, select the More button, and then the Send Back button to send multiple transactions back to the employee. In addition, on the Expense Report Header Approval page, an approver can select the Send Back button for selected transactions. This completes our discussion of the Send Back in Expense Fluid Approvals Enhancement. PeopleSoft Payables has added a new feature to clear data that has previously been loaded to the voucher staging tables. This cleanup feature helps delete incorrect or duplicate data from the voucher staging tables prior to running the voucher build process. Use the Voucher Staging Audit Log page to review the history of data that has been deleted from the staging table. This completes our discussion of the Voucher Staging Data Clearing feature. In Update Image 29, the Journal Edit and Journal Post process adds a confirmation message. A message appears asking the user to confirm if they want to remain on the Create or Update Journal Entries page until the Edit or Post process completes. If the user opts to exit the Journal Entry page, another message displays with details of the scheduled edit process. The user can later verify the journal edit process using the process instance number. A similar message is displayed for the post process. If the user attempts to post a journal that is under the edit process, then a message displays informing the user. This completes our discussion of the adding user wait options for online journal edit enhancement. Receivables enhance the Worksheet Application Detail View pages to include a dispute link. This field allows users to access the Dispute Status tracking page and view dispute status information for an item. Note that the Dispute Status tracking page includes Customer, Item, Status, Dispute Reason, and Dispute Amount information. This completes our discussion of the Dispute Receivables Items from Worksheets Enhancement. Receivables now enables you to view and email an image of a Dunning letter from the Correspondence tab of the Collections Workbench. Click the Dunning image icon to view an image of the Dunning letter for a specified customer and Dunning ID. Click the email icon to access the Send Dunning Letter page and email the image as an attachment. The system automatically attaches the image to the email. This completes our discussion of the email delivery of statements and Dunning Letters enhancement. <music> 
Receivables enhance the item activity pages to include the payment method field. This field tracks the manner in which a payment is made, such as credit card, check, direct debit, and so on. This completes our discussion of the Receivables Include Payment Method on the Item Activity Pages Enhancement. The following features were also added to FSCM Update Image 29. Updating proposals and generating awards and mass, increased security when using the Billing Interface Upload feature, loading contact information from a purchase order when running the voucher build process, Collapse left side panel for the Fluid Work Center framework. Enhancements to asset management capitalization when assigning transactions. And the data privacy framework for HCM only source data. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.